World of Warcraft comic series was introduced in 2006, providing an engaging expansion to the rich lure of Blizzard Entertainment's popular MMO online role-playing game. This video will explore the storyline, artistic approach, and influence of the 2006 comic series on WoW and the fantasy genre. In 2006, the world of Azeroth expanded beyond the confines of the video game screen with the release of the World of Warcraft comic series. Published by Wildstorm, an imprint of DC Comics, the series was aimed at providing fans with a deeper understanding of the game's lure and introducing new characters and storylines. The comic series primarily follows the story of an amnesiac human who washes ashore on Kalimador, a central continent in the WoW universe. Known initially as Lagash, the protagonist discovers his identity as Varian Wrynn, the missing king of Stormwind. This revelation sets off a chain of events that intertwines with major lure elements and key figures from the game. Key themes in the comic include identity and memory, the struggle for power, and the unending conflict between the Alliance and the Horde. These themes resonate with the game's narrative, enriching the player's understanding of the ongoing war and political intrigue within Azeroth. The 2006 WoW comic series, led by artists like Ludo Lullaby and John Buren, showcases the vibrant and diverse aesthetics of the game. The illustrations are bold and dynamic, reflecting the grand scale and fantastical elements of the WoW universe. Character designs are detailed and loyal to their in-game counterparts, offering continuity for fans. The color palette is vivid, with rich hues that bring the world of Azeroth to life on the pages. The action sequences are particularly well executed, conveying a sense of motion and excitement that parallels the immersive experience of playing the WoW game. The comic series introduces and develops several important characters in the WoW storyline. Varian Wynn's journey from amnesia to reclaiming his throne gives a deeper insight to his character, showing his personal struggles and leadership qualities. Other cool characters include Brawl Bearmantle, a Night Elf Druid, and Valera, a Blood Elf Rogue, both of whom become crucial allies to Varian. These characters not only enhance the comic story, but also add to the game's lure, appearing in subsequent WoW expansions and updates. The comic acts as a link between in-game events and the larger narrative arcs, giving fans a more complete lure experience. The release of the WoW comic series was met with enthusiasm by the game's community. It provided fans with a new medium through which to engage with the world of Azeroth, expanding their understanding of the game's lure and deepening their emotional connection to the characters. The comics also attracted new audiences, including comic book enthusiasts who may not have been familiar with the game. Moreover, the series demonstrated 
the potential for transmedia storytelling in the gaming industry. By extending the narrative into comics, Blizzard Entertainment and Wildstorm showcased how different forms of media could complement and enhance each other, creating a richer and more immersive experience for fans. The World of Warcraft comic series from 2006 is an important part of the WoW franchise. It gives fans more background about Azeroth's characters and stories. The series tells compelling stories and has vivid art, which make the characters more interesting. The comics expand the game's story and bring players closer together. They also set an example for other games showing how they can tell stories across different media. Hey there YouTube, hope you guys are doing well. So we're back at it again with another comic unboxing and it's pretty obvious it's a World of Warcraft comic that I'll be sharing with you guys today. And I'll get this out of the way now, I'm a huge World of Warcraft uh, gamer. Mainly the, the classic era, I love that, I love the old vanilla version. It's not too, uh, it's not too complicated, it's not too crazy. And uh, that was introduced to me to uh, by my brother, younger, my younger late brother, sorry, Scotty, who got me into that. So I miss him a lot when I play that game. I always look around and still think he's like running around there somewhere, but he's not. So, but yeah. All right, so let's move on to the opening, the comic unboxings. I'll just give me a second here. We're gonna flip over. All right, so this is would be uh, issue zero. This is the prologue to the Stranger in a Strange Land, which is issue one. But the uh, cover is great, and when we get to cover one, I'll share something pretty cool I didn't know while I was doing the research for this video. All right, so issue one, uh, issue one of four. Uh, this cover was done by Jim Lee. Yes, the Jim Lee, this guy here. He's done some amazing covers of different characters over the years, so good stuff by that guy and if you look close right here where it's circled you can see his signatures on the page I don't know if they <clears throat> excuse me if they allow artists to do that currently today because I don't really see their names on the covers anymore but uh, yeah and we have the standard second print uh, all black and white ink so it's pretty nice really nice when you have it in, uh, in your hands you're holding it looking at it in, in person so very cool alright so I'll do a quick review um, the World of Warcraft comic series, uh, this four issue run is titled The Ashbringer and obviously it's published by Blizzard Entertainment between 2007 and 2009 and it was written by Mickey Nelson with pencils by Ludo Lullaby and inks by Tony Washington. Um, however, on December 16th, 2009, Wildstorm announced that the World of Warcraft comic series would transition from monthly issues to original graphic novels uh, so they stopped producing comics so if you're a completionist collecting like the, an entire run this is a pretty easy to um, it's pretty easy to I guess um, finish off the, the entire lot because there was only 30 issues for the entire run on a personal note, I just wanted the, the Ashbringer series, the, the four issues in the special. Um, so I didn't really care too much about buying the entire set. Maybe I will like search it out in the future, but right now I'm pretty happy with, with the Ashbringer series, which is just four issues in the special. Also, if you're somebody that's going to flip comics, these are the three comics you're going to want for the Warcraft series. I know the prologue, uh, issue zero, is worth big bucks right now. Uh, depends on who you get to grade it, CGC, CBCS, and I now know that PSA is making the um, is making the jump to grading comics, so that's pretty interesting. So this is just a short little video on my little Warcraft uh, comic unboxing. So. I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is and uh, I'll end it off with an outro and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye and I'm wishing everybody well. Adios.